guilty of some sort right. when when do when this happened. I'm I am so confused at this point what is going to take for hmm how do I say this without sounding crazy for us to do something other than just having conversation or what we have to do other than having Ben Crump and Al Sharpton pull up to the scene and get paid to make a speech like this stuff has got to stop at some point um you understand what I mean does that make any sense or no it, it makes sense it makes a lot of sense um for me I I, I talk I, I talk to a lot of people like I feel like I talk for a living even though I don't I talk to a lot of people and I say um at some point, somebody's going to have to say, I'm going to take this action and deal with the consequences later. Mm -hmm. So whether that be legally or illegally or legal gun or illegal gun, whatever, like somebody has to take some action and to deal with the consequences when they come. So I had a conversation with my wife because we, my, my, for those who don't know, like my wife is like, I'm not going to say that me and my wife are best friends. So we have conversations <laughs> about everything. So, you know, we had the conversation. I said, how do you feel if we, if, if it were me mm -hmm. and I had a, a stick on me and I just bucked him back and killed him, but I can't carry legally a gun, but mm -hmm. I shot, but I killed him. What do you think would happen to me? She couldn't answer the question mm. because, because I can't answer the question. Right. I don't know what would happen. Would I be a savior? Would I be the hero or would I be the villain? Mm. Would they flip it? The guy kills the, the guy, you know, with an illegal gun. He shouldn't right. have been carried. This guy had an AK, it's an AK 47. Crazy. Right. How do you get an AK 47 from your car to the front door without somebody saying something? That's another story. But at some point I feel like I'm going to just start carrying for sport and deal with the consequences when they come. Mm -hmm. hopefully I would never have to deal with the consequences, but I feel like we don't have a choice, you know, at right. this point, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, my asthma, you might hear me wheezing. That's cause I'm old. My lungs, they crazy. Um, but anyway, like, that's how I feel. I'm, 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 I'm confused. I'm concerned. I feel like the young boys talk all this talk, but like, they not, they not ready for action unless mm -hmm. it's on the gram or something. Yeah. And we as older folks, like we just getting settled down in life. And now we got to turn around and like defend mm -hmm. this. I, I I always tell people like I'm fortunate that my parents, my mother, or my father didn't grow up like in the in the movement in the Black Panther movement. Because I said had they had done that and I had been like a child like Tupac, mm -hmm. I don't know what I would be doing right. I'd probably be in prison for protecting myself. I'm gonna just right. leave it at that. So Facts. it's crazy for me to see this stuff going on over and over again. And and people not taking the the correct action. I don't know what the correct act, action is, but like mm -hmm. we can't have the same leaders over the last fifty years, just standing up, spitting out the same rhetoric about whatever they're talking. Like right now, it's just talking points, and I, I know they get a check every time they come out. So for me, it's all is I, I when I see them at a something, I feel like it's for the check only because mm -hmm. they didn't show up to Buffalo, as far as I know. I haven't heard anything about that either. Maybe nobody hired them. See, I didn't want to say that, you know, in a post or something like that. Like, I I want the heat. I want the smoke, but I don't want the smoke. I'm mm -hmm. ready for it. But it's like, where where were they at at, at, at this one? Like, yeah. what else is going on? Right. So that's that's my unscripted opinion about, you know, about what happened in Buffalo at this point. I might have other things might pop up later. If they do, I'll chime in. But right now I'm just confused. I'm confused and I'm I'm afraid. I'm afraid that all of these little actions are going to lead oh, me to something big. Yeah. And, and and to make me risk it all. You know what I mean? Right. Like yeah. they, that's what right. the young people say, risk it all. Mm -hmm. Like I'm at that point now where I'm like, yo, I'm ready that to YOLO. risk it all. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I it, it is what it is. I and I feel I feel like if I did risk it all, it would be for naught because like nobody would care because mm -hmm. we not because not enough of us are are striking back. If that's the correct term, striking back, you know, I, I live in a neighborhood where we the only ones mm -hmm. and they blatant with it. Wow. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, like blatant with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 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 confusing a little bit. So I'll tell you another story in a little while about the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So, so Lex, what you got on that? So, um, 
just a conversation, you know, that I, I've been carrying on with some of my associates. Again, everyone's like, why is this motherfucker walking out? 